All right, hey guys, this is Amy. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got over the weekend at an estate sale. Uh, I usually go looking for things that I can use to do crafty stuff with, and one of them I knew, actually we were just trying to go to one, but it turns out there just happened to be a second one kind of in the same general area, and we ended up going to the one I didn't know about first, um, and then we figured out where the one was that I I was trying to find. Um, the one I wanted to find was there was supposed to be a lot of art supplies and stuff. So I was hoping to score some really good paper or something. Um, so I'm going to start out this first part. I'll show you where I got at that one, at the one that I was intending to go to the one with the art supplies and I did not actually buy much there. In total I spent two dollars and thirty cents across both shows um, or both sales. So the first one, this first pile I'm going to go through, I actually just got all this stuff for free um, despite it having little prices on it like two dollars and the, something else that says three for six dollars. Alright, so um, this person used to be an artist, I guess, and they had a bunch of what looked to be not really finished pieces, more of just like, I don't know, playing around, having fun kind of things. And they were on some pretty nice, uh, I guess it's watercolor paper. Um, so I want to start going through this because I haven't actually looked that closely. I was crouched on the floor and just <laughs> pawing through the box of stuff. And so there's this one. And so what I was thinking of doing is I will either like cut these up into smaller pieces and then use them. So I'll just work over, over this. So there's already kind of a pre-made background and then I'll just build up with whatever I feel like doing and it looks like it's mostly as far as I know well I don't know if it is a watercolor nope that's not a watercolor it's like there is possibly some watercolor and there's also acrylic so this person was already doing kind of the stuff that I intend to do and I'm pretty sure she would not mind if I did whatever I will do to it I also thought if I cut it into some of the bigger sheets into smaller pages, maybe binding them into a journal and have it be some another, yet another art journal for me to use. All right, so here's this one, and it's got a, the paper has a little bit of a texture on it. So I'm not really a professional. I'm not that knowledgeable about papers, honestly, but. I'm guessing this is some kind of watercolor paper because it's, you know, it's, it's bumpy. So like, what is that, cold press or something? And it's kind of thick and sturdy. All right, so let's get going. All right, so there's that one. Oh, where should I put this? There's this weird thing. I'm sorry if you can't see it. I'm trying to figure out lighting and stuff. I don't know, this looks like a Kind of a gross egg or something I don't know but actually this might be this looks like it's from a notepad paper or a pad of this is definitely watercolor paper from just a, a pad of paper and there are a few of those which I do not look at I just grabbed all the ones that felt felt thicker to me like it wasn't just a you know, printer paper, just plain old cardstock or something, but you can tell because this is all got the little gumminess, crusty gumminess along the top there. There's a bunch of these. You know, they look kind of like, they look like the inside of an egg to me. A fertilized egg. And then this is a pretty thick paper. It actually seems like it's layers. Yeah, this one has layers. And it's also thicker. Uh, I don't know. 
And this one I grabbed because I just really liked. I thought this was actually kind of cool. But obviously there's not, they didn't, she didn't do tons to it. And yeah, so there's more that could be done. Uh, and then, this is kind of ugly. So <laughs> yeah. And again, this is the same paper as some of the other ones. Kind of volcanic looking, I guess. And this one is really, really thick. And it says, it's this is the art. I don't know if it's pronounced in French, but it's the Arches watercolor paper. And while I was there, I found a package that had that brand written on it. Um, a big box that was about that size of sheet of paper and but it was empty so I almost had it almost had exactly what I was looking for but I guess this is all that I got all that I found but um, yeah I'll still use it and it was free so that's pretty good and then there was this cool um, fibrous paper it says two two for two but I got it for free so that's cool. And so it's kind of shiny orange. A little messed up, but that's all right for me. And then I got, this was also in the box. And I don't know what kind of paper this is. Obviously it's a big sheet. There's three of them. And it's kind of thick. But it's got like blue fibers in it. So if anybody knows what this stuff is who's more knowledgeable than I am, you are welcome to tell me. So I know. But like this, I don't know how it's going to do with what medium. I don't really know what it's best for, but it's a big sheet and it was kind of a cool, cool looking. And I'm sure I can use it just fine for something. Alright, so those were all, that's all from the the freebie box and I guess I can just leave that there and then there was also yarn and it wasn't even all I mean okay I bought novelty yarn because sometimes I like using it but there are novelty yarns that I will never use again in my life because they're horrible um, the fun furs and the boa yarns but I found this one and it was just a dollar and it's not too it's not too crazy so i'll use this for like my anchovy knits scarves or something and knit it together with uh, one or two other yarns and that way it's not going to be just all this because that's gross oh i like to make it more interesting and this one had pretty good yardage it says it's made in turkey i haven't heard of this brand but then again, I'm not as knowledgeable. I'm not a, as up up to date on the yarns these days. So I got that one. And then I got this one. And I've actually used the little flowers from Crystal Palace Yarns once. And I only remember making a little gadget pouch. And I know I've used it with other things because obviously there's this much and the pouch only used uh, a few yards. So I don't know what I used it for. Um, so a little palace. And I, I liked it so I was a little sad when it was gone because it just adds a little tiny fleck of something. And this doesn't... I think the one I bought had some metallic in it and this isn't metallic. But it's okay. And it looks Christmassy here, but there's orange in it, so I will make it so it's not Christmassy because I don't like, I don't like doing that. All right, and then the first one that we went to that I thought was this one where I got all this stuff. Oh, camera, don't be all blurry. Um, I just got a bunch of cheap stuff, and uh, one of it was. Oh, you'll see. Okay, so first up, I just got this used notebook. But I kind of, I liked the picture on it. It was kind of dumb looking. Sort of Monopoly-like. And it's obviously used. I got it for 10 whole cents. 
and it's kind of the slightly greenish paper and it's like there's crud and it's kind of faded and there's still plenty of pages so I'll use I'll use that for something uh, and then I got I found this notebook filler for something that I'm not familiar with that I liked this part it looks like there were actually two packs but one still had the wrapper on and this one's in better shape but even this one it's pretty cool because it's it's you know old and s stained and kind of weird so I mean I'll, I, this kind of stuff I usually will make into like a notebook a little notepad or I can use the just the sheet of paper just to draw on and then add to um, art journaling mixed media thing so well, I thought that was pretty cool and then I got this stack of stuff and I kind of flipped through it but I haven't taken the band off and actually looked because it's got it's this notepad and again I buy I'll sometimes buy these kind of notepads and then uh, just use those for making journals and this is kind of a cool cool plain yellow Page. All right, so we're gonna check this out. What's in here? And we'll start with the yellow thing, the yellow pad, which is that's exactly what it is, just a yellow pad of paper. And with lots of pages, so I can maybe make a couple books. And then we'll start out. Let's see. I think these are just envelopes, and I wasn't really looking for envelopes, but sometimes I've I think I've ran out of the ones that I would use to just grab and store stuff in. And I mean, you can use these to make journals. I don't, I don't need a whole bunch. What is this? Wait, this is paper. What is this? I think it's just a white sheet of paper. That's pretty exciting. Okay, there's more there's little red ones. Another little banded part. Oh, this has writing on it. I don't know. I can't really read it. It might say Christine something or other. Oh god. This looks like just more envelopes, but they're kinda they're kinda nice, different sizes. Some of them say Hallmark. Ooh, look at that. That one's pretty cool. And it's got gross right there. And more Hallmark. Alright, so just a bunch of envelopes. And these are just plain old white envelopes too. And there's a bigger one. I might even, I don't know. I don't really care about the Hallmark. I don't care about branding. Although there are some lime green Hallmark ones. So we'll see. A tiny one. Okay, this stuff's all clipped together. With one of those clips. This is a big stained cruddy envelope. Uh, a Peanuts card collection. And there are none. This is just the envelope. So that's still kind of cool because I'll use that. I mean, look. It's got peanuts on it. Uh, boring. Ooh. But that's kind of a cool pattern so I could always use that for stuff. Here we have a Christmas card. I uh, don't really care about that. And some little stationery. This one's bent and slightly crayoned. We got some torn light blue paper. Sorry this is not the most exciting stuff, but it's still kind of cool to see what's in here. I was hoping there would be more. Another notepad. 
crud on it. Oops, then we've got flowery envelope with like a note card kind of thing and another envelope. So two envelopes and one card. It's helpful. And there's this. A mighty fancy pad for folks who know how to write and want to send notes to folks who know how to read. Well, this is obviously something old. It says 1966, so this is, this is kind of weird. And it all says, <laughs> I would have written you much quicker if I hadn't been brewing my mountain liquor. looks pretty awesome. Well, wow, look at that. <laughs> you got it in an outhouse. This is actually pretty awesome. I don't know, this is probably something that people who were around in the 60s know about and but I don't know anything about this, but this is pretty cool. All right, that's pretty exciting. Okay, what's this? Uh, this is just a notepad from Budapest Hotel. Hotel pad. That's pretty cool too. A Radisson. And it's obviously been around for a while too. It's got some stains. It's pretty flimsy on the back. And I don't know about the, Oh, there's a big stack of Revlon Hearts U. Like a lot of those, which I'm not too fond of. That's a lot. But... No, I could just cover them up. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what I do with that. If I do anything, I probably will. Yep, so that's all my stuff that I got. Nothing super exciting, but there were a couple pretty cool things. So, I don't know, I just felt like doing this, and... I guess if you got bored, you could have stopped watching a long time ago. So if you made it to the end, yay! Thanks for watching. And um, we haven't gone to estate sales for a while because it got to the point where we were starting to have trouble finding room for stuff. But since I saw that there was going to be an art supply, potential for art supply score that I kind of felt like going, but... So yeah, if we go again, if you guys are interested, I can do another video if I get anything anything interesting to share. Alright, so that's it. And I guess I'm just busy making videos these days. So we'll see you in whatever it is I do next.